Hello, awesome possums. Today, I'd like to read to you How Animals Communicate. It's written with photographs by William Munoz. Our target skill today is main idea and details. Remember, main idea and details tell the main idea about what a story is about. Our genre is informational text. Informational text gives facts about a topic. Look for information and facts in the words and photos that show the real world. Before we begin reading, let's go ahead and look a little closer at our target skill of main idea and details. Nonfiction selections are usually about one topic. They have a main idea or one important idea about the topic. Details are facts that tell more about the main idea. Details can give you a clearer idea of the topic. You can list the main idea and details about a topic in a web like this one. Here in the middle, you have main idea, and then out to the side, you have your details. Usually, we try to give four details, but sometimes we can only give two or three, depending on the paragraph that we're looking for the main idea and details in. Before we begin reading this story, let's preview the topic, animal communication. Animals can send messages. Animals can understand messages. Some move their bodies. Many make special sounds. Why do you think birds sing? Why does a dog wag its tail? You will learn all about animal messages in How Animals Communicate. Animals touch. An animal will tug and grab. An animal can hug its baby. How do elephants hug? Look carefully, boys and girls. Look at the picture. How is this elephant hugging her baby? Notice how the baby is between her two legs. Notice how her elephant um, trunk is stroking the baby. The dog and cat are friends. How can you tell? Well, how could you tell the dog and cat are friends, boys and girls? Look at how relaxed they both look. The dog is sleeping, and it looks like the cat is so close to him. He's snuggled so close to the dog. It looks like the cat is about ready to go to sleep, too. Animals hear. What is in the grass? Animals can hear it. They will run away. What is that animal, boys and girls? It's a rattlesnake, and rattlesnakes are very dangerous. Here, at the top of the snake's tail, is a rattle. And when the snake feels threatened, it'll start shaking its tail and the rattle inside. Other animals hear it, and they run. A bird will sing, here I am. A wolf will call to its pack, here I am. Animal C. Why will a dog press its legs down? It will let dogs see, I can play. Some bees buzz and dance if they find food. Animal smell. A mom can tell the smell of its baby. Do you see the giraffe smelling her baby? An animal can have a bad smell. It will make animals run away from it. Well, there's a skunk and there's a deer. And I would hope the deer is going to run away from the skunk or the deer is going to end up smelling pretty bad. Touch, see, hear, smell. Tell what the mom can do. Can the mom see her baby? Mm-hmm. 
Can she smell her baby? Absolutely. Can she touch her baby? Yes. Look how she's touching her baby. Let's take a deeper dive into our target skill of main idea and details. The topic is the one big idea that a selection is about. The main idea is the most important idea about the topic. Look back at the four parts of how animals communicate. Touch, see, hear, and smell. What is the main idea? Details are the facts about the main idea. What details do you learn? Use a web to show the main idea and the details. I went ahead and made our own graph over here with the main idea here and then four circles for the details. Let's take the first topic of touch. Over here, animals touch. What detail did we learn from the animal's touch? An animal will tug and grab. And look what I put in the circle over here. They tug and grab. Now we'll look at the topic of C. Some bees will buzz and dance if they find food. Well, they find food because they see it. Correct, boys and girls? So what did we learn about C? That some animals buzz and dance. Let's go to here. It says a bird will sing, here I am. So what did we learn about hearing? That birds will sing. What about animals smell? A mom can tell the smell of, a ba of its baby. So they can smell its babies. So if we look at this, the main idea, animals touch, see, hear, and smell. They can tug and grab. They can buzz and dance. Birds will sing and they can smell its babies. Let's keep going with the story and let's talk about the text and graphic features. Authors use special words and pictures to tell more about a topic. A heading helps readers find information. It tells what a part of the selection is about. Look back at the part called animals here. What does the heading tell you about this part? What do you learn about the sounds animals make? Well, let's go back over here. These were the four headings. Touch, and we see the polar bears touching each other. See, we can see what the dog is doing. Hear, the bird is singing. Smell, the giraffe is smelling its baby. It says, look back at animals here. Let's look at the rattlesnake. What do you learn about the sounds animals make? Well, what we learned was some animals make a sound to tell other animals to get away. So if we wanted to know about the sounds animals make, we'd have to go to the heading animals here. Well, that's the end of our story for today, Awesome Possums. I hope you liked it, and I hope you learned something about informational text and main idea. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. New lessons are posted weekly. Work on your growth mindset, and remember, all things are difficult before they get easy, so don't give up. Keep trying. I hope to see you soon, boys and girls. Have a great day. Bye-bye.